There it is. Day 13. Unlucky for some, including us. And he is now actually wounded. I need bandages. Next time the, the guy comes. Good. Thankfully, we're able to mostly protect ourselves. But I do need to get bandages. And I kind of need him to sleep through the night. There we go. This is the one worry because he's not a strong fighter. Being getting wounded is gonna be uh, is a tricky one. Actually, I could guess if the hospital's open, I could try there. But I'd rather just try and, and get through this, get through this outbreak of crime because that otherwise is gonna really damage his abilities to get through this. It's even just a moderate intensity of these wars does really strike to the core of what Bruno is like is going to really affect Bruno more so than it's going to affect Roman, Boris, Arica. Um, I think Pavel and Mark are also relatively strong in that regard. They should get through it fine. I'm just trying to think of anyone else who is in particularly going to do well because Sveta, Zlata, Emilia, Anton, all of them are going to struggle. I remember that may have been one of my first ever games, actually. I did the first game, which was just a, the long haul, which was the 80 days, which is was fun, but it just took a long time, honestly. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to help you. I was hoping for somebody else. Is that actually someone staying here? I think it is. I do think this is somebody who wants to... Oh, no. Yeah, I'm sorry. Now he's also getting sad because he couldn't help. Uh, this is getting tricky. Time to sleep. Without bandages, this could become difficult. We do need to keep guarding. Because if we get caught sleeping, we're going to be pretty bad. But sleeping would hopefully get us through a night. If I slept in the bed, I could recover, maybe. But the chances are that we could also have a another raid because it's an outbreak of crime. I'm going to have to scard. Because it's still an outbreak of crime. There we go. Oh, God. That's got worse. Okay, what can I do to push him up? Hopefully we'll get a trader today. I'm going to keep him well fed from now on because well fed does give him a bit of a boost the outbreak of crime even with everything protected if i make just one more of these oh wait a second cancel 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 i saw that if i look in here this one i could actually make two of and then for the same amount of water that we actually have set that up i could even get him to drink which would push him up out of depressed i mean he can actually do stuff because alcohol does help, I think. I do actually, maybe, before I think about it, I'm going to do a quick Google of... Um, quick Google of alcohol in this war of mine. I've never really used it as a method, but I do know it can improve... ...morale. Um, one second. Uses... Yes, okay. Okay, so it is. it could help. It says they have to have... Okay, so they become drunk. Being well-fed could push them up. Um, once the guy comes, I can then bandage myself up and then try and sleep tonight. I think that's the only way I can really go for it. I'm going to have to have some alcohol myself to try and push up depressed into just sad. He'll be well fed. Good. And then we can trade. I'm hoping I can trade at least. One load of moonshine has made him stumble around like an idiot. I've never really tried this method, but you know what? Why not?
There we go. Let us... Good. Good, you have bandages. I feel like you would want... Uh, some of that. Is there anything else I could give you? Three, that, and that. Uh, if I deal... You're still drinking. Okay, okay, that's fine. Now, talk to this man. Talk to this lovely man here. There we go. Uh, is there anything else that you have that I could really use? Obviously, some of this is going to be worthwhile. If I did some of that, I could really maybe... I could get a lot of materials for that. I'm going to deal. I'm going to then say goodbye. Good, we're going to bandage ourselves up and we're going to sleep tonight. Hopefully sleeping, even if there is a raid, can get us through it. An outbreak of crime does make things ugh, tricky. Because he says he's lethally wounded. I'm hoping that two loads of bandages would help him a lot. Just because, like... It, we got to an outbreak of crime. I don't think there was anything else I could really do to protect ourselves here. Everything's boarded up. And he has... Oh, God. Come on, no. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot. That could be the end of it then. Because he needed to have bandaged himself up tonight. I think lethally wounded is the the worst one you can get. After doing so well with Bruno's run, solo runs are difficult because of stuff like this. I have no one else to kind of protect him. I should have bandaged up as soon as I could. You're just too wasted to sleep. Okay, I think that this is the end, but we're going to sleep in the bed. We're going to stay. Still an outbreak of crime. Everyone, keep your fingers crossed that things improved. Jesus, these solo runs are difficult. Jesus! What else could I have done there? I should have... Because as soon as the outbreak of crime started, he went to Wounded. If I'd slept through that first night, even with... I should have bandaged him up first. Oh god, that's annoying. I will work out his score, and I will see you guys for the next one. I hope you've enjoyed watching this one. Uh, Bruno didn't get to the end. So far only Arika has got to the end, which is insane to think about. But then again, Arika is able to defend herself. Those issues are going to come in when anyone can't defend themselves, even with the gun. Kind of need to try and get body armor of some description, but that's still difficult. Ugh. Well done. I'll see you guys next time. ta -ra. And so welcome back to the scoreboard. Today we are working out Bruno's. It's been a little while since I actually played Bruno's, so I've come back and scored it. This, um, I'm not sure how it's going to go, especially considering he gets a... Oop, sorry about that. He gets a 15-point penalty and a 5-point death penalty. So if I were to add these in together, that's that one, that's that one, and that's that one. This is going to still be, if I drag it down, some of them. So he starts with a negative 20. Let's see how he did. So in furniture, he gets five for the metal workshop, five for the upgraded workshop, another five for the second upgrade on the workshop, that's 15. Five for the oven, that's 20. A, rain, a water collector, that was so that's 23. Then he also had a moonshine still, so that's another five, so 23, 28. There was also a chair and a bed, which is another five, so that's 33. And he boarded up three times, 33 to 48. 
he's got 48 wood, uh, workbenches and furniture. That is the first. That is the worst of anyone so far, but it is not bad. 48 is not bad. Now we move on to food. And he did end the run with 5 raw food in the bank, so I'm going to give him 15. Which is more than Anton had left, but not as good as Arika or Boris. Now we get to alcohol. Now, on the start of the final day, he had 8 which would have given him 40 points. Unfortunately, he... No, actually, the start, he had nine. He then drank one, then he traded three away, then he traded two more away, so he left with three. So he only got 15 points on that front, which wasn't particularly good. Weapons and armour. This may give him a little bit of a boost, because he did have the assault rifle and 13 ammo left, which gives him 18 overall, still the lowest. When it came to tools... He had the crowbar, the shovel, and the hatchet, plus he had five lockpicks. So therefore, that is 15 plus 15, he did get 30 on the tools front, which pushes him above Anton. Basically, the alcohol and those extra tools have pushed him above Anton. He also has, at the end, had two bandages, which is what he traded three of the moonshine for. So therefore, he does get 10 here as well. Putting him on, because he didn't do any of this, and he didn't do any of this, 116, which isn't appalling. Bad for Bruno. I was expecting a lot more about Bruno. But, yeah. He'll probably get another go at some point, as will Boris, as will Anton. But, who knows? Who knows who's going to win this in the end? Because I think that there could be some surprises to come. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed Bruno's run, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Ta-ra.